Well, it's a new year. It's an awesome sunny day outside. So there's no reason to be all sad and tart. But we're going to make one today. A, a tart, I mean. All right. Over here for our crust, we have one and three eighths cups of flour, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, half a cup of chilled salted butter cut up into little cubes, two small egg yolks, and three and a half tablespoons of sugar. These measurements are a little weird because I cut it in half since the recipe makes two crusts, but we're only making one tart. So over here for the filling of our tart, we have one and a half cups of pecan halves, one and a half cups of chopped pecans, a quarter cup of salted butter, three eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of sugar, a cup of dark corn syrup, and half a cup of chocolate chips. Okay, for mixing our crust together, we're going to add the flour, that chilled butter, and the three and a half tablespoons of sugar to a food processor, and just pulse that together until it looks like big crumbs. It shouldn't take very long at all. And then combine the egg yolks and the cream and then while it is mixing on the lowest setting, gradually pour that in and just mix it until it's combined. We don't want to over mix it because that'll make the dough too tough. And then once that's done, scoop the dough out, lay it out on a flat surface and just knead it together about four or five times. Wrap it up in plastic wrap and then throw it in your freezer for about half an hour or an hour until it's nice and firm. Now that our dough is nice and chilled, we're going to roll it out on a lightly floured surface to about an eighth of an inch thick and then put it in a tart pan or if you don't have one, like I don't, a greased pie pan. And then trim the edges so it's nice and flat around the top and then put it in your fridge for about an hour.
So I did trim a lot off the top there, but the filling is only going to go about that high and we want the top of the crust to be about level with the filling. So only about an inch tall. That's about how tall a tart pan is anyway. All right, while we're waiting on our crust to chill, we're going to mix together the filling. So first step, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, spread out the chopped pecans on a baking sheet, and bake them for eight to 10 minutes, shake them up every few minutes, until they smell really strong. Then add the butter and the vanilla to a small saucepan. Cook that over medium heat until that smells nice and nutty. It'll be about five minutes. Once that's done, whisk together the sugar and the corn syrup in a bowl, and then add in the eggs and the brown butter. That's our filling. And then once the crust is nice and chilled, we'll assemble it. Okay, and now to assemble our little tart, we're going to dump those toasted pecans into the bottom of the crust, spread them out a little bit, and then you're going to pour the chocolate chips over those and level it out as best you can, and then very carefully put the pecan halves in circles going out from the middle on top of the chocolate chips. Depending on how good you want it to look, you may want to get more halves of pecans to make sure that all of them are actually whole pecan halves. I don't really care how it looks, so I'm just going to use all the little broken bits that are in there too. Once that's done, you're going to very, very slowly pour that corn syrup filling over the top. And then, bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes just until the center is set and then we'll be done. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next week, we're going to be making pineapple rum cookies. They're super soft and super delicious. So meet me back here next week for that. Same time, same place. Until then, I hope you all have a great week. Love you all. Bye.